Hello everybody, Mitzi De La Cruz here with Lincoln Live and I'm here to interview some very special guests today. I've got Deborah Bayless and Anna Roa, two of the most amazing women in town. These ladies are all over the place. You know, it's funny because uh, really there's a 90-10 rule, right? 10% of the people are doing 90% of um, the support of the community and the volunteering and things like that. And so that's why I just wanted to talk to these special women today because they are always volunteering their time and making our community better. So thank, thank you so you. much for joining thank us. For our pleasure. Time. Yeah. So why don't we start off? Can you tell us just a little bit about yourselves? Okay. Well, I'm Deborah Bellis. I'm with Century 21 in um, Lincoln here with the amazing Gene Thorpe. Everybody knows him. He's so involved in the community. Um, I've been around the last like two or three years, just really involved in the community, worked here at the chamber. Um, and just really enjoy Lincoln. I love Lincoln. Actually, I live in Rockland. My daughter goes to high school there, but I love Lincoln, so I'm here all the time. And I'm originally from San Diego, California. I've been here 22 years. Love it. This is where I want to live and die and be buried. Um, I love Lincoln so much that uh, I try to promote it as much as I can. I want people to come and live in Lincoln, like mm -hmm. Deborah. It's my goal to get her here one day. Um, I have nothing but wonderful things to say about Lincoln. Yes. And you guys will have to bear with us. We are outside, so you're probably going to hear some outside noise. So we'll do our best to project. And, um, and you know, when we've got loud trucks driving away and things like that, it just kind of comes with the territory. So, you know, we've, uh, we've chosen this beautiful outside setting today um, as our setting for this video. So just bear with us. So can you tell us how you two met? Yes. Me? Okay, so I used to work at the chamber um, and a, we were looking to hire an administrative assistant and I thought my vision was somebody who was really involved in the community, who loved Lincoln and who was also bilingual and walked in Anna and she was perfect and we interviewed her and it wasn't my ultimate decision but I loved her from the beginning and that's how we met at the chamber a couple years ago. I love it because you guys are like Lucy and Ethel, right? And <laughs> such best friends and it's just you know, your, your relationship is just so awesome, you know, I love seeing you guys, and I hardly see one of you without the other one. <laughs> yeah, the way it goes. We, we just clicked right away, and yeah, we have the name now of Lucy and Ethel just because of the fun, crazy times we had at the chamber. Would you like to expand? Yes, um, thank you. <laughs> April 9th, two years ago, I walked in for an interview, and I, I love both of the ladies. They were very nice, very sweet to me. I always felt that Deborah was in the wrong business. I thought she should have been a model. <laughs> <laughs> and I even told my friends, I said, yeah, I said, they're great people. I said, they're just amazing. One of them should not be here. She should be in New York. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> um, really sweetheart. Really yeah. nice person. Very generous, very sweet, very kind. Um, I loved working with Deborah so much. And I hope that one day we can connect and work together making crazy. It was the best job ever. We had a great time and we just really connected. We worked very well. We had really good vision. We clicked. We were just yeah. a great team. Yeah. We still are. We're just not working together anymore. Sounds yeah. like it's time for you to get your real estate license. <laughs> yeah. Gene's been after me for about five years. Yeah. yeah. I, think I just made it. It's on my bucket list. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. So what are the various uh, organizations that you work with in the Lincoln community? Well, I'm the Rotarian. Um, very proud to be a Lincoln a Rotary Club of Lincoln member. Deborah's not a member, but she is our adoptive daughter. <laughs> she does all the volunteer work along with us. She's been on several committees as well, so she just doesn't have the title, but in our hearts she is a Rotarian. Um, I'm also a board member with the Lincoln Theater Company. And if I may say something about that, that's how Deborah and I became very involved with it. Community, yes. Was we were coming back from a neck mixer at the women's club. And on the way back, we heard music. We went in and we saw a uh, rehearsal for Annie Junior. Mm. We decided to volunteer, and that was our first really volunteer work that we did together for the community. Um, since then, Deborah has been back many, many, many times. I have then since become a house manager for the productions, and now I'm a board member, which I'm so proud of. Um, so we have. I do that. Um, then you do, well, we do a lot of things together. We're on the 4th of July committee together. We do the 4th of July, yeah, the fireworks committee again this year. Um, we help at the salt mine whenever we can. And we, we the do shoes the shoes for, for kids. For yes. Kids. That was a big success. Yes. We're going to be giving, actually, the shoes out this Saturday morning from 10 to 12 wow. at um, Big Five. Big five. You do have to be on the list, so if you're still in need of shoes, you can contact um, Blake at the salt mine. But that's been a fun thing to do, just kind of separate with Carol Percy and Kim yeah. Davey. 
Wow. We've so. done that. We've done turkey drives. We've done food drives. Yeah. Operation Sparkle. Operation Home Run. Mm -hmm. We've actually been at Walmart collecting canned goods. Um, oh, anywhere we're needed. And you know what I was going to say? My favorite thing ever is the thing that you do on Christmas morning. Yes. That, like the last couple Christmases when we yes. go out to McBean Park and help the homeless, Mitzi organizes the whole thing with the food, food drive and clothing. And, and it's just the most amazing time to sit there and just, I don't know, it's just a great feeling with everybody there. And not yeah. not all the homeless people really come up. I mean, some of them do, and but we play games, and it's just a really great, I don't know, it's, it's a great way to spend Christmas cold morning. Yeah. as far as the weather, but it's, so much warmth and love. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I do, too. I look forward to it. In fact, I'm going to get my church more involved this year. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. Really Thank you for them. telling us about that. That's oh, one yeah. of my favorite things. Yeah, I know, absolutely. The, the, it's funny because my kids are already asking me about it, and yeah. really it's time to start planning. It is. Two so, months away already. I know. I know. It's just the time really just it flies. I, know, I love it. So how can the viewers get more involved with the organizations in the community that need more support and volunteers and things like that? There's always a need for help. I mean, if you don't have an organization that you love, that you're attached to, find one because there's so many in Lincoln. There's the Axiom, there's the Redirect, Lincoln Theater Company, Fontline. There, there's Tons. There's, if you have, if you don't have the money to help someone. If you have the time, do that. Mm -hmm. Right. That. I don't have money, but I do have time. Yeah, and a lot of times that's a lot more powerful, because that's really what people need. Is is you know not necessarily people just throwing money at at the cause or the organization, but even just investing their time and yeah, and investing into those people. That's incredible. So. Um, so I just kind of want to wrap up by by asking, you know, with you both so involved in the Lincoln community, um, how rewarding has that been for you to be so involved, and uh, why do you do everything that you do? <laughs> it's amazing. It's, that's such a, I could stay here for an hour and let you know. <laughs> it really fills my heart. Um, my situation is different than most people because I don't have, you know, kids, I don't have a husband, so I have time. And when I do this, I get to meet the most incredible people. The most kindest, just sweetest, funniest, most adoring people that I would not have otherwise met. Right. So that alone, just getting to know these folks, and then you grow up friendships. So if you just don't help them once and they off your life. You know, when you keep doing this, you develop a relationship. And sometimes they turn into your family. Right. So I have a lot of family. People ask me, Anna, how many kids do you have? And I said, I think I have 62 now. <laughs> <laughs> Last week it was 60. So, I, mean, I wouldn't have that. I wouldn't have that joy in my heart if I didn't do what I do. And I do it, um, basically, I just feel like we're all here to help each other no matter what it is. And I feel like people lose that concept. Everybody's kind of competing and trying to make more money and all that stuff. And it's not about that. It's about helping everybody with everything that they're trying to you know get through life the homeless people on the streets you don't know what their story is right you know? and you just want to help them get through and i just feel like that's that's my purpose i wish i could do it full time but i do need to make some income right so the job i have actually gives me the flexibility to do these other things that i love so i love that you said that because i feel like as as realtors it's 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 important for us to invest into our community and um so yeah, I mean, we could have a conversation about that offline, but I love that you mentioned that. Yeah, I don't do it for my business. I don't even like to talk about that. I right. just want to be out there and help. And I know that, like I said, it, it gives me the means to be able to do this type of work. Right, because of the flexibility and yeah. the time. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's A incredible. little bit of help does so much. I know. Yeah. You won't believe how just an hour of your time can change people's life, like right. tremendously. Like you could even, you can even touch someone that will turn their life around completely. Right. We have that power. We just have to be out there. And just a little bit. Everybody just take a little. I know everybody says, I'm so busy, but just an hour right. here or there. Yeah. yeah. And I know sometimes it's hard for people to get involved. They don't know where to call. And I mean, I guess they could call us. I mean, I know we have a Lincoln Volunteer Center and direct people that way. Well, sure, but um, that's actually getting ready to shut down here oh, pretty okay. soon. Yeah. I knew they were. Yeah, or there's well, talks of it anyway. We'll so we have, need to actually we should start that up. Yeah, <laughs> take it over. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's my new goal. I want to say something to Jack. Okay, because um, we did mention something um, about how we have talked. If we didn't have to work, my goodness, we would do this yeah. all year long, all, yeah, all week long. So we have to stay together, connected, <laughs> be the best of friends. Because when we're old, Lucy and Ethel are gonna have the time to do this full time. Oh yeah, we'll be doing it still when we're. So you can move away from us. <laughs> you can move to Lincoln. 
<laughs> and we have to get along. No, we do. We do. So you need to we make a commitment other. right now on camera so that we all know <laughs> that you're not going anywhere. Oh, I'm not going too far away. No, no. I do want to move to Lincoln eventually when my daughter graduates. So but sure. I'm here every day. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah, we, and we do get together a lot. We, yeah, yeah. We text each other. We will, you know, keep in touch. Um, now that we don't work together, it's a little harder. It's but. a little harder, but we do stay in touch, and we have to grow all together and <laughs> do this. I need it. We will have the times in, Deborah. Aren't they? I love them. I do. I just oh really God. love my time with them too. And so. you know, we should be interviewing you. I know. Yes. <laughs> Next time, definitely. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies, so much for your time today thank and you for having us. Yeah, what yeah. a privilege, what an honor. Yeah. For telling your story, it's just an amazing story, and you guys are both two incredible women, and thank you very, much. very inspirational. Very so. kind, thank you thank very much. Thank you. So thank you all for joining us on this week's episode of Lincoln Live. We'll be back next week. I'm not sure who my, uh, who my yes. guest is um, quite yet, so I'll let you guys know later on, and uh, you all have a great day. Bye. Yes. <laughs>